Uh, I'm Teresa, and I'm from Not Just Travel Wanderlust. And um, I'm just to share my top highlights um, with you, my recent cruise on board Sky Princess. Um, maybe you're new to cruising, maybe you're new to the Princess brand. More than happy to have a chat with you anytime. So having cruised many, many times, the itinerary for this five-nighter really excited me from the start. Um, and I think a five-nighter might be a perfect introduction to cruising for you rather than the two or three-nighters. So it's, it's unusual for me to um, experience a new destination. So that's what had me so excited. So I was really pleased to have time on that port day in Skeyen in Denmark um, to explore. And so I took a princess arranged cycle tour. Um, on our day in Oslo, we boarded the hop on hop off bus because they often add the port in uh, as an extra stop on those days that the cruise ships are in. Um, I'm a big foodie, but I'm also fussy as I don't eat meat, but I love a pizza. So cruising caters to my eclectic tastes and can accommodate any type of food allergy. And we usually flag those up prior to embarkation or they're identified to the restaurant manager as soon as you get on, on embarkation day. I love a show. So I'm a big fan of flexible dining and that's offered on board princess ships. It means I can have a quick meal or a luxurious experience where I'm wasted on hand and foot. The food offerings in the marketplace on deck 16, they would be varied enough to eat each and every meal. Um, over that time that you're on board. I loved grabbing a smoothie every morning before heading off to the conference sessions. And every day they all looked at me, it's all these different colours. <laughs> um, there's also the option to splash out and treat yourself at one of the speciality restaurants on board. Um, I love the tech um, to order my drinks uh, rather than go to the bar. Uh, that Princess Medallion app has really come a long way over the last few years. So um, those shows, um, particularly like the headlines shows, they're definitely West End Broadway quality. Um, but every live act on board is good. It's going to be great, whether it's a band, magician or a comedian. So one of my top tips um, to get your bearings as soon as you get on board a ship is work out which bank of lifts are closest to your stateroom. So whether you're midships, aft, forward, um, and then which is the set closest to your favourite place, whether that's going to be like the main dining room or a bar or the pool. Um, and then you can kind of work out where it is you need to get to each section. Uh, and in some of the accommodation areas, you'll also find some clues like patterns in the carpet. Um, the other tip I wanted to mention was about dress code. You know, that's probably the one thing that I get asked about the most in regard to cruise. So Princess is one of the few lines that has a dress code in that during the seven night cruise, there will be two formal nights. On our five night, we just had one. Uh, and those formal nights tend to coincide with a sea day or maybe your second night on board. I love to dress up on a cruise because I just don't get to do it any other time. But on a formal night, you'll see a mix of like, guys in their tuxedos or maybe a jacket without a tie or maybe just even a nice shirt. And ladies in dresses from kind of like your more sort of cocktail type to lovely some frocks, slacks, whatever, trousers, whatever you want to wear. Um, but you'll also see people in jeans. So there really isn't an obstacle to feeling comfortable, although I probably would leave those ripped jeans and beach shorts for a port day. So yeah, in summary, um, Princess Cruise is a lot more flexible than maybe most people would expect. Um, the drinks packages are great value for money. Um, there's a number of dining options. Dress code is encouraged, but not frowned upon. Uh, there's plenty of entertainment throughout the day, as well as options in the evening. So you've got those headline shows that are repeated twice each evening. So you can have an early dinner or a late dinner and still catch a show. Um, and things like the movie Under the Stars on the pool deck, they're also done twice in the evening. Um, so there's a brand new ship that's just coming to service in the last few weeks, the Sun Princess. Uh, and there's another new one being launched next year, which is the Star Princess. Oh, beautiful. Um, so lots and lots of destinations around the world to experience. So drop me a message or send us a WhatsApp on 0333 121 6999 and let's chat about your next holiday. Hope it's a cruise.